How to chat with AI privately on Windows, Mac, and Linux. LM Studio is free AI chat software and it's compatible with multiple platforms. So onward for the Windows version. Click this middle bar here that says download LM Studio for Windows x86. Once it's finished downloading, click it to open it and run the installer. You get these interesting green little boxes. I don't know what this is all about. It's just trying, I guess they're trying to be interesting with their progress bar. That's it, it installs pretty quickly and here it is. I did a video about the older version, but the interface in the newer one is way better. From here on out, the settings are the same in Windows, Mac, or Linux. So just some features about this. It's completely private and offline. It can run open source models and has a built-in downloader where you can get models from Hugging Face. If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, that's the website of repositories where you can download open source AI LLMs. You'll need to pick an AI model that can run on your hardware. That can be a little bit tough to determine. So I would say start off with a model that has 2 billion parameters or 2B. Then you can work your way up from there to models that have 7 or 8 billion parameters. And I'll show you what to look for if you're not familiar. Now you don't need to have a video card, but it helps. And if you do, I'll show you the settings for offloading some of the compute to divide it between your CPU and your video card. Just for some context, my RTX 3080 video card can run models that are 8 billion parameters and have a context length of about 8K. You might have some trouble if you get a model with a really long context window like 128K. I've also managed to get 2B models to run on older processors because they can be really efficient. The context length, if you're not familiar, is how long you can continue the conversation with the AI before it forgets what came earlier. Let's start with downloading a model. So go to this little telescope icon here, that's Discover, and you can search for models from Hugging Face up on this search bar. So let's start off with Gemma 2B and see what comes up. So Gemma 2B IT GGUF. I recommend we start with that one. So you can see over here what some of the details are about it, and I'll click download, and we can see that it's downloading over here, and when it's finished, we'll load it. Just to show you something real quick before we start chatting, if you click down here where it says My Models, you find the model, that you want to look at the configuration for and click the gear icon. And you'll see that this auto configures your offload to the GPU. You can adjust this of course, but the new version automatically configures that where the old one didn't. So it's just kind of handy. I can go back to the chat tab over here and now we can start chatting with it. Tell me a story about a dragon that talks and is friendly, but people are confused and scared. I don't know why, but whenever I come up with like a story about like a dragon or a llama, it names it Bartholomew. It seems to really like that name. Anyway, for such a small model, this one has a lot of power and is actually really good at natural language processing and being cohesive. So, And you can see that it was pretty fast. It'll save your chat history on the left side, but if you ever want to delete one, you can click the three dots and go to delete. If you want to start a new chat, you click the plus button. To get into the nitty gritty about the configuration, you can actually click this icon over here and you can set what's called a system prompt. For this one I wrote, you are an expert storyteller. Your stories are always in medieval English dialect. And from there, you can put your prompt in and it will follow the system prompt as it's typing out the response. And you can see it's doing it. Hark, he har <laughs> you heard a, a tale I spin of beast most wondrous. The system prompt becomes a guideline that the chat model will follow through the entire conversation. Some models I suggest you try out to see if they'll run on your computer would be the Gemma 2, 2B, which is the one we just did. Gemma 2 also has a 9B version with 9 billion parameters. And there's five 3.14K mini instruct. I'm not sure how many parameters that is, but I know it's one of the smaller mini models. Getting into the bigger range, besides a Gemma 2 9B, you can try Mistral 7B instruct. And if you want to go up from there a little more, you can try Solar 10.7B. You might find that these models will load. They just might not necessarily run that fast, but you'll have to test them out to see for yourself. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and Bartholomew. I'm going to be doing installation instructions and also AI LLM testing on a regular basis. I've done a lot of videos like that, and I'm going to continue doing them as this technology changes. Don't know if I'm going to bring Bartholomew with me, but I hope to see you in the next video.